this is really inspired by our uh, affection for and admiration for the entrepreneurs in, in today's world. You know, they go through so much travail as it is, and when the inevitable financial hiccup comes to some fraction of them, uh, frequently they're found uh, adrift with uh, no life raft and creditors circling them like sharks. Our mission in our professional life is very often to get a disproportionately larger piece of the value pie for equity owners uh, and take that out of the pockets because it is a zero-sum game uh, of the creditors uh, and other constituents around the table. It's not always a neat and tidy picture. Many entrepreneurs think, well, gee, I've been treated so unfairly by the creditors, I'll just go to a bankruptcy judge and he'll make it all right. Well, bankruptcy judges call balls and strikes. They're not necessarily the arbiters of justice. A large part of the financial restructuring community doesn't like hearing from us on this subject because uh, most other professionals have a view that when it comes to conflicts of interest, uh, if there ain't no conflicts, they've got no interest. We have a business specifically designed to avoid those kinds of conflicts uh, by steering clear of a high yield bondholder representation, for example. We, there's no such thing as a cookie cutter set of reasons why uh, equity owners get in trouble, and there's certainly not a cookie cutter set of solutions that, uh, that we ever feel bounded by. And as a result, we have an unfettered ability to be uh, aggressive advocates for old equity positions. And that's, again, what we described at great length in this book, and actually, it's a fun read, too.